Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. It's Chris here with another video. We've got another HP laptop here. Uh, we have seen this uh, model, uh, not this specific one before. This is an HP EliteBook 840. Um, and normally I don't, I don't necessarily do um, additional videos if I've already done a specific model of laptops, but sometimes I do if there's different configurations. So this is a case where I wanted to. Uh, show off this one again. So it's a pretty standard, um, you know, business laptop here. This is a refurbished machine, but, um, you know, full complement of uh, ports and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to go over all of that stuff again, because again, I've already done this a video for this before, but it's, you know, uh, business laptops have, you know, easy access, battery, hard drive. This has got an SSD in it instead of a SATA drive. So that's been, um, I guess, upgraded because this is a refurb refurbished machine and eight gig of RAM installed. And there's even room here for an M.2 um, for upgrades. So you could conceivably put an M.2 in and then have a, a larger spinning disk for additional storage, which is kind of nice to have sometimes. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to show off on this one was the fact that um, on top of having the standard complement of uh, like an Intel processor with hybrid graphics or with uh, Intel graphics, it's also got an AMD GPU in here, uh, which means that it's you know, got a little bit extra performance or a little bit extra kick to it. And combined with the SSD and the eight gig of RAM might be a little bit better performing than the usual machines that I highlight on the uh, on the channel here. So yeah, anyways, I thought I would show this off. I'm gonna get it um, booted up and connected to the internet and we'll take a look at some stuff. Hardware info showing our specs here uh, for this system, that Intel Core i5-5300U, it's a dual core hyper-threaded processor running at about 2.3 with a turbo up to 2.9 gigahertz. We have a 256 gig Lexar SSD running in here, so a little bit better performance there thanks to that SSD obviously. Uh, for graphics, we've got hybrid graphics, so this does have the uh, integrated HD5500, and then if I switch to GPU-1, we show that AMD card so this is a uh, R7M260, and that's got a gig of RAM, GDDR5. So okay, you know, it's not great, but uh, it's going to give us some graphics performance, obviously, um, to uh, help the system out when it gets turned on to run things like games. And then memory, we've got 8 gig of RAM. So there are uh, 4 gig sticks, yeah, a pair of 4 gig Samsung uh, sodiums installed in the system, and those are... Uh, going to be running in dual channel uh, to give us some some pretty decent performance uh, to pair up with the processor and graphics card. Cinebench R20, our score on the system, not too bad. We scored a 616 uh, after I fixed the uh, power management issues that were going on with the system that the original 246 score gave me. <laughs> um, so this is a little bit better than the 541 that, uh, that the baseline for the i5-5300U uh, processor gave out. So yeah, uh, decent processor performance, you know, given the age and, you know, being a dual core processor, etc. Uh, for this system, um, yeah, pretty good. The uh, Unigen Heaven benchmark actually it ran better than I thought it was going to on this system. Um, so this is uh, 1366 by 768 resolution. I set it to the low quality uh, preset, just assuming it's not going to, you know, be all that great and we scored a 41.6 fps which is you know i'm actually like quite happy with that um given the given the the graphics card in here and the and the processor um so this is pretty decent uh performance given the age and the the quality of the system uh to be able to handle some you know low-end 3d graphics gaming so just giving a game like roblox a try here and <sighs> It could just be some issues with looking up performance stats that I'm not getting actual FPS using the win integrated Windows game mode thing. Uh, but it's showing here at least the performance stats we can see. Uh, some of the seek times we're running at pretty much pinning the, the GPU at 100% here and only getting about 30 to 33% of our... Uh, usage out of the CPU and only about just under half the memory. So, you know, it's it's working okay. It's working okay. That's, um, you know, that's happening. 
So performance is, you know, what it is. You could play a game like Roblox without uh, too much trouble. And, uh, you know, can't expect much more than that out of a machine like this. Maybe using something like Google Stadia might uh, be a good, uh, good option for one of these systems as well. Uh, to have, you know, some okay graphics on board, but, you know, relying on the cloud uh, performance instead. That will complete my look at this HP EliteBook 840. Uh, if you have one of these machines, I'd love to hear about uh, what you're still using it for and maybe any upgrades you've made to it. As always, I hope you are staying safe and healthy, and we'll catch you in the next one.